What's up people, my name is Sly and welcome back to Mafia 3. So, um, we are now continuing and I need to talk now to Donovan. I think he is from the CIA or something like that. Okay. Um, because we are now at his apartment or something like that or at the motel. Blue Golf? Blue Golf, I think it's Blue Golf. Okay. Let's see. So we have a plan to kill them all. Ah, you were lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. All right. So again, fighting the Haitians. Great. But I don't know, can I trust Denovan? Um, how it's supposed that we are friends or something? Were they together in the army? I didn't get it. I'm not sure. Okay, wait for the Haitians. But where? Okay, there. Okay, let's take the car. Do I need to pretend somewhere? Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. I, I think I need to sit down here. Okay, let's see. So, uh, I just need to wait. Okay, let's wait. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too packed. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Hmm? In the yellow car? Huh? Get inside, okay. Whoa, okay. There's the police. They're watching me. Fighting for freedom? That's not a f really freedom. I forgot I got my knife. That's pretty good. Okay, that's just to open it. That's also just to open it. One is upstairs. Can I distract him somehow? Huh? Is he coming? Now talk. What the hell? Now talk. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. 
Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Okay. Sorry about the headache, brother. Yeah. No witnesses. Okay, better like this than that you are dead. Can I take the shotgun? So easy. Sorry, man. Why? Why did you came to shoot at me? Okay, to the voodoo shop. Where is the voodoo shop? There it is. Okay, where, where did I park my car? Old time sakes, find a way inside. Okay. Got it. I need to sneak inside. Can I climb this up? What kick door? Okay, why? I'm almost inside. Okay. Can I find here something? No, it doesn't look like. Surprise! Okay, maybe I should take my shotgun. Okay. Maybe not. I just have three shots. Hello? Search pierced heart. Should search. Okay, let's see. By the couch? Okay, let's see. Oh, we are waiting. We, we just wait for her or, or for him or her or I don't know. Yeah, I knew it. This girl. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Yes. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have Dahala, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucet. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find it? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. 
Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. So he, she has a, per, a personal revenge on on him. Old time's sake, complete. So okay, well, just a second. So on the map, I can see that's Cassandra. Now I need to go to the the way of flesh prostitution. Okay, need to go here inside. Wait a second. Lincoln, you were sight for so eyes. Who are you? Okay, let's talk to you. Let's see. Hello. Been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon. His name is The Voice. I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. Okay. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I Wow. You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, got sorry it. Hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Okay. Talk to Shayla. Oh, what do I got? I got a shotgun and I got a pistol. Okay. Before I now uh, go inside and uh, free the girls, I'm going to end this episode here now. And I will see in the next one to talk to Sheila, but I think she's inside or staying somewhere there. But anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.